<laughs> Jacques, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm a little hungry. I can eat some beets. I can eat some brassicas. And that's why today, it's the beet, beet and, and brassica, brassica blowout. Okay, beautiful day. The sun's coming down, the sun's yeah, getting nice. low. I've got <laughs> my harvest knife. We call this the Felco. <laughs> this is just a Felco pocket knife. Oh, a little flip, not worried about I it. Like not, that. not worried about it at all. What do you got? <laughs> I got some twos, little Felco twos, Felco classic. Twos. Sound good. Okay, so let's hit, actually, I lied because the first thing I want to hit, <laughs> it's called subterranean guard method. The reason why, these potatoes, as you can see, these are potatoes, right? They look good. They look great, right? Don't they? Like they're healthy. There's nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong. I grew a whole crop of lettuce above the potatoes before the potatoes even came up. So you're Subterranean. using all resources at the same time, all together at once. Exactly. To get that. To get this. I mean, then you just take this off and of course you harvest it in the full head method so that you sever the roots and maybe even those roots slightly decompose to feed the potatoes. Now, I don't think that's probably that big of a reason to do it, but nevertheless, we still got to get these out of the way. Honestly, really smart. It's a cool idea, right? I'm, I'm into it. And you know, if you get his approval, <laughs> I don't know. It's like the heavens above smiling on you. It's a cute little baby head of lettuce there. Yeah. I might take that one myself. You can, because we're harvesting all these out. So you can take some home, because I, you know, I, I heard you like, don't really grow it that well. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Honestly, don't. You kind of struggle with lettuce. Yeah, it always bolts for me. It's not happy. So I'm taking I never give it a good spot. I'll yeah. say that much. Yeah, it's interesting because I think I sewed these in and there was a couple per, you know? Yeah, it's they, good. They're still like, they're still nice and sizable, still solid. So we'll leave these all right here for now. All right. But yeah, look, I mean, now, now the potatoes can just be potatoes. So here with beets, we were just talking about this. They always take a little longer than it this seems like they should. Yeah, I feel like we think of like root crops and we think like a radish and we're like, oh, yeah. it's quick, it's easy. Yeah. But beets, they take their time. They take their sweet time. And you know, like one day you'll come through and you'll kind of feel around. That's what I do at least, is I like feel, see if like the diameter is enough. And one day it won't be. And then like a week or two <laughs> later, it's a whoop and it just come right back. It just hits, that, uh, hits its prime. So I'm gonna King Arthur this one here. Not bad, and it's not bad. Not bad. It's not. It's not like stellar, but I think this one right here. And these are golden boy beets out of botanical. Let's see. Okay. That's not bad. Well, you know what? For golden beets, you kind of want it like that, anyways. You know? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a little more tender if you're eating it like raw, cutting it up in like a Take salad. Look at that. It's like a chiogia style in the middle there. It's pretty. So I'm gonna actually do a little bit of. Uh... I'm gonna do a sample of the leaf here. Yeah. Try the leaf. So this is like the actual beet itself. These are the greens, which you had the option to use or not use, really your own preference. But I'm gonna keep stashing this stuff over here for now. Yeah, I'll say not that salty. Usually beet leaves, they're I a little, find they're, very they salty. They are a little salty. Yeah. Maybe the golden ones are just a little bit less. Actually, come on in here, take a look at this. This is a perfect example of multi-sewing. So I'll cut away the beet leaves so you can see kind of how this plays out. Cause we talk about this a mm, lot, Jock, and we, yeah, it's true. we rarely show it in the wild. So take a look. If you come in, you can see these were sewn right next to one another and they kind of just pull away because as they swell, they don't disrupt the roots, but they just kind of move away. And it, it actually is not that competitive. So you pull one, I pull one, right? Okay. Ready? Boom. The roots kind of <laughs> grew together a little bit. Honestly, is that our story? I mean, <laughs> I was thinking it. I mean, look, that's actually still pretty good. Same size as the other ones, which yeah. were actually by themselves. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so don't think you can't multi-sew beets. We'll get these guys. Beets you really can, by the way, guys, harvest at, at, at any point, all the way down to like beet microgreens are a thing if you really wanted to get that that particular about it. But for me, I think I like maybe a little bit bigger than this size. Yeah. The bigger you get, the more likely it is it's gonna go dry on you and uh, get a little rough and, and kind of woody and just avoid that. There's a little turnip. Yeah, did you try it <laughs> or no? Uh, I might wanna give this one a little rinse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's see if we got a couple more beets in here. Nice catch. That's actually big. I'd say this is probably like ideal size for yeah. me. Let me see. Yeah, that's nice. It's a keeper. That's quality. I like doing the cut. <laughs> well, the reason why is because I'm, tonight I'm gonna prep these. Oh, okay. So I don't, I, like, trying to keep it clean. Jacques actually correct. Like normally if you were gonna store these without the greens, you would wanna twist off because that way you've preserved something, you haven't actually opened up the tissue. But for me, since I'm gonna be harvesting these up and like, you know, peeling them and prepping them tonight, 
then I'm actually just gonna cut this off and throw this in the compost right now, save myself a little time. To me, it's just satisfying to effort. rip them off. It's satisfying, but I don't know, something about having that clean cut at the top, because you start, it's almost like a gemstone. Like you start to see the inside. <laughs> yeah. It's like breaking open a geode or something. I don't know, to me it's satisfying. All right, here's the one, here's the plant that I'm curious to get your hot take on. Yeah. Celery. Celery, I love it. So you got two here. Do you I like snacking it. on it? I, I like it. Do you eat it raw? Like, do you snack on it? Or are you more of like a mirepoix kind of guy? <laughs> <laughs> now that you bring it up, I, I am a bit of a mirepoix kind of guy. And you know what? And that's not even me just hamming it up. I am a mirepoix kind of guy. So don't even joke. But yeah, if you if you know, by the way, you can grow a mirepoix just at home. You can grow onions, you can grow lettuce, you can, or not lettuce, you can grow <laughs> onion, celery, and, and carrots. But I feel like you it's, the, it's in the it, cut. It's in the cut. It's in, it's the, in the cut. cut. And to me, Celery is beautiful for that because if you take a stem of it, Jacques, like that, you can do what I like oh, to okay. do at least. A little clean. Is I, you know, you'll do a little bit of that. I don't mess with the leaves. Some people season with them. I just don't like them. I'm, I'm not. Hair. I'm not huge on them myself. But what I'll do if I'm doing full mirepoix style is I like to, to strip it down the middle. You know, Ooh. do one of these moves. So you get a like nice little cut. I get that nice little cut. This is not, you know, it's not safety <laughs> approved. But you, so so now you're sort of evening it out a bit, right? And then you can come through and. You know something like that something like that but <laughs> anyways yeah i mean celery here try it i mean let's see, let's see how it is celery the trick is oh that's salty as hell salty what's in this pure so, salt <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the funny things dude is people drink celery juice for health but it has a ton of sodium in it because it really sucks up salt out of soil this is especially salty i'll say that I'm kind of liking it. You know celery salt, right? This is celery salt. I don't think you need to add the salt to this, man. This is way too salty. What the hell? So so this, Jacques, is probably my best example of, of kale. That's a really handsome kale. It's, it's nice, isn't it? And, and I like the color a lot. Harvesting it kind of the way you like to, where you just come down, grab a few. So here, let me show you the rough and dirty hermit method here. Okay, yeah. I, so I'm you, more of a sniper, but... You get your hands. Yeah. Grab the leaf. Oh, wait, okay, See, I, I kind of like that. Here's the advantage. I kind of like that, actually. When you do that, you're breaking it at the base. Mm. You don't have any of this little flopping kind of mm. leftovers that you kind of left here. It's a little sloppy. You know, it so is a little, come you know what, Clean it up is. your mess. Okay, let me try. Hermit Just method. Just an opinion. Just an opinion. Let me try, hermit method. So I come here, right? And then you give it a snap, hard snap down. A little, it's, a, it's more of like a twist the neck, right? It's a little bit of a twist and a snap at the same time. Ooh, clean. Honestly, it's actually pretty satisfying. <laughs> you're, you're actually pretty See right. how clean it is now, too? That is clean. Right, hold on, let me do one. Break your neck. A little bust of rhyme. <laughs> Break you your go. neck. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, come on. And then at the end, you just trim it off. You're ready to go. Hey, broken clocks are right twice a day. <laughs> beautiful color on this, though. Really, like, really Actually really nice. beautiful color. It's maybe, maybe this is common, but I don't recall the last time I saw that purple of an interior stem that's what i'm thinking on a dinosaur too. kale and this is also kind of a dark like anthocyanin heavy color you know what i mean probably good for you Pro probably you know what Can't hurt. I, might, I might have to imbibe <laughs> all right well I'll pop a couple more off Look at that. honestly dude I i'm gonna say this i'm in a phase i'm in an era where this style beats the curly style for me you know you know i this is just so much better for soup yeah this is i think better for salads because yeah. it's not as like yeah tough and harvested younger but I, agree. I think yeah harvested maybe a little younger i'm not going to harvest this massive broccoli that i let flower <laughs> mostly as an experiment but what we are going to harvest Jacques, it's a little impressive i have to say and i even think you would agree i agree little red acre cabbage not even little though it's not little listen to this it's a full acre you want to hear a knock knock joke <laughs> that thing is hard as a rock it's crispy i mean that is hard as a i mean let me let me get some over here yeah yeah that's like, that's I mean, come dense. on, like that's <laughs> dense There's as... There's no air in there. Yeah, no air. So anyways, this is the way you want to harvest it. Nice and tight, compact head, nice and shiny leaves. And, you know, temps are coming up, so it's going to be a good time to harvest it. Ca yeah, get in there, get in there, You Jacques. want me to get in there? No, no, or do get, you want to give it the old twist? Do the honors, do the honors. Oh, the decapitation. You know what? Why don't you, why don't you decapitate it? All right. Why don't you do it? You Pretty do the satisfying. honors. All right, so... All right. Yeah, but the here's cabbage. the thing. But here's the thing. You got to say something to it first. You got to talk to it. Tell it why you're doing it. <laughs> Tell it why. You're coming home for dinner today. <laughs> oh yes! Look there at this guy. It's a beaut. I've never seen a happier man. 
<laughs> Man, and here's the thing. Play the drums on that. We left most of the roots, but we got enough of the stump that now you could just plant right there. Plant right back in. No problem. And look, yes, you disturbed a little bit of the soil. It's not a big deal. <laughs> not a biggie. And you know what I'll do? Just, you disturb know. a little so, more? Just to, no, I want to be part of this. I want to be part of this. <laughs> flip it over, flip it upside down. And I'll do... Little little hack is if you if you are cutting the uh, leaves off, this is a very minute hack. But if you cut the stem, like the main stem, the rest just flips right off. You don't even have to deal with it. But I'll do a little cleanup. Yeah, hit here. that, hit that. And then here's your uh, your beauty. Honestly, Hard dude, to beat. this is pretty heavy. Hold on, <laughs> let's reveal the whole thing. I feel like how big these fan leaves are too. Massive, right? Not many things are bigger than my head. So. I mean, come on. That's dude. like a really. We'll take one more. If we'll I saw one. that one at the farmer's market, it'd catch my eye. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if I saw this at the farmer's market, I'd ask it to tell me my future. <laughs> Look at this thing. Dude, but feel it though. Guess the pounds. Like that's like, that's at least two. I'm going to say. It's at least two. Two pounds, five ounces. That thing is dense. Like I've, dense. I don't think I've ever grown a cabbage this compact before <laughs> in my life. It's extremely compact. If you cut that open, it's going to be like a beautiful print. Okay, let's stop effing around with the cabbage. Let's head on over to the green stock and harvest some little delicacies. All right, Jacques, the green stock gardens with some new modifications actually, which enabled us to grow these peas. Yeah, I'll say yours are way more diversely planted than mine. Mm -hmm. I usually like stick to like two things and that's it. And I, I'm liking this a lot. I believe this is the- Is this a snapper? I think it's a Desiree Dwarf Blouse Shocker, but it, it may not be, but it's, look at the flowers, man. Flowers Be look incredible. Beautiful flowers. But do they smell like a sweet pea? No. They, no. they do look like a sweet pea. They though. do actually look like that's a sweet pea, a which is scary. a little sus, yeah. Let's see. No, that's just, that's, just, that's a, yeah. That's a good one too. That's actually really good. It's really yeah. nice. Okay, well, let's take a look in here close. So we've got these little extenders on. I don't see a whole lot to harvest on this particular bed. There's some celery, etc. but wow. I actually see it's a couple. Cilantro. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Look at that cilantro. It's looking really good. It's looking really good. Yeah. Okay actually see a couple little little secrets here number one being these <laughs> why don't you do the honors here oh this it's one's doing it, never mind it's off can you believe that it doesn't get easier look at that, that guys that's crazy and so look like from a space efficiency perspective <laughs> certainly this is a little overkill but like it's possible to it's grow a that a lot of food i mean look at that small pocket too this is the small green stock this is the smaller green stock this is a green stock leaf so when you're doing a multi-sow like this what you can do is kind of like what i'm doing here I'm just pulling out the biggest ones, right? And I'll leave the rest to size up. Yeah, that's look nice. at that. I mean, that's nice. What I like to do is I toss them in the top of the green stock. Is it good? Actually, it's good. You're one of those guys who just eats that like that. I, I, I haven't gotten there yet. I've tried, but. Dude, that's crunchy too. So here's the crazy part. Carrots in a green stock leaf, so only wow. about six inches deep, and they actually look pretty, pretty darn good. Some pullable ones in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So let me pull. Okay. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. That's all you need. Let's pull the rest, see what they got. For me, I love snacking on a carrot. Yeah. Man. I love snacking on a carrot. Let's see what else we got. That's interesting. I've never tried. Let's try, uh, let's try this guy here. Cause this looks like, like a lot of top leaves, you yeah. know? Yeah. Sometimes it's really hard to tell with carrots what you're actually going to get. Okay. Forked. Well, that's what you're going to get. Well, look, we didn't, we didn't even thin these out. So. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. This oh, is. Oh, it's split. Oh shoot. I was like, is that like four carrots fused Something together? Something went really wrong All here. Right, well. Maybe you keep that one. Yeah, I'll keep this. Anyways, we got a couple, <laughs> got a couple things here, but there's some root crops, but there's also the finale of the dragon fruit season, which is the yellow. They look really good. The yellow Ecuador Pelora. I've had one little slice. He gave me like one little slice before, but uh, you got a, you got actually half of the first one. So <laughs> maybe I got half. Let's calm down. But uh, it was delicious. <sighs> you you'd, you'd kiss it if you could. <laughs> But you definitely you, can't. But you can't. <laughs> oh, and here's the thing, is on the other side here, there's a couple that have unfortunately fallen. These guys... Oh, like the branch itself. The branch itself broke. Mother Gaia's bounty was a bit too <laughs> hefty, right? <laughs> and so the question is, are they ripe though? And I got to try to get in here and give them a How little bit How do you tell? Of, so it's mostly on the Peloras, it's mostly color. Okay. Right? And then you give it a squeeze and... Ow, shoot. <laughs> Honestly? The sad part is I actually don't think they're ripe. Do you think they're attached enough to finish? The thing is, this is coming off no matter what, right? Like next, next season, this is coming yeah. off no matter what. All right, let's see if I could squeeze this without stabbing myself. Yeah, this one's for sure ready. This one's okay. for sure ready. It seems like there's a little bit of softness in here. 
Yeah. So what you can do is you make like a V-shaped cut. You, you want know? this or you're going with that? I'm going to try this. I've never done it this way before. It's just Is tough. there like, like a hard part? Yeah, yeah. There's like, because every single one of these is either a spike or a potential flower. Oh, okay. Right? That's and right. so like it has a, a bit of a toughness to it. Very difficult plant to harvest. You might need to come help me out with this bottom piece here because it's kind of tough. I can't get so through it. Should I just cut from here or from above? Maybe from above. Yeah, there we go. I can just uh, I can see the hard part now. See what I mean? Yeah. So on the bottom, it's the same thing I was talking about is it develops its own like little interior core and that's what makes it difficult to get away. Actually, if you look really closely on this side, Jacques, you can see that. Mm. How it kind of- Wow, that's it, interesting. Because it, it could have become a a like a vegetative offshoot. vegetative offshoot, right? And so it would have had that. I, so I guess the plant just somehow knows which one to turn it into. <laughs> but interesting to have a fruit this low, right? Yeah, that is really low. Yeah, so what we can do, if you want to guys, is you can actually burn these off with like a little torch and then put it in the fridge and store it and it's good. Or if you have like really rough leather gloves, you can just rough I wipe see. it off. But if you even, if you have any glove that can be penetrated basically, you're in trouble. Cause it'll Let's really get you, it. it really will get <laughs> you. Yeah. All right, so you want to harvest some? Uh, yeah, I'll try. I've never actually harvested one. I was thinking this one looks ready. I did a little squeeze. Yeah. And I, I, I can't tell if it's enough give. Let's see. But I guess either that one or the one up there, huh? This one's for sure ready. Yeah? For sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it a try. Yeah, give it a try. So I've, I think I've, I've watched some of your videos before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I think you, you go in like this. I do a V cut. V usually. cut. Yeah, usually. So one from there. Yep. <sighs> I think I'm gonna drop this pie. Baby's first dragon fruit. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh God. You getting hit? There's, there's a needle in my finger. All right, let's get that out of there. All right, I think I got a good grip here. Ooh. Dude, it's getting me. I, I, I'm telling you, the Peloras are the most treacherous for sure. Ooh. That's done. hefty. It's hefty, That's, right? That scared me. I, I yeah. thought I was slipping. I thought I was about to get got. Now look at this side. See how this side has a little bit more greenish tinge to it? Oh, okay. So that this side is less ripe than the other side. I see. Right? And so, Literally, the flesh might be a little different, but you know what? It's getting to that point where you kind of have to harvest. Ooh, yep. You get hit. That one got me. <laughs> but there is Feels a, good. there is a sleeper in here. I think that's a little bit of acupuncture. Yeah. You know, if you're really getting treacherous about it, <laughs> what you can do is you can grab from the outside, right? Oh, and like come pull them in up. and just twist, and they actually all oh, come off. Okay. See that? All right. There we go. Like easy. the coconut. Yeah, easy. First try. Easy. <laughs> All right. We've got pretty decent. Quite a haul here, honestly. Early Feb haul. Three dragons. Some, what, like five beets, some kale. Definitely a lot of greens, so I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these tonight. But the thing I'm most curious about, Jacques, let's get these guys out of the way. Despiked. Ooh, there's one left. <laughs> Did you get one? <laughs> got me right no. there. Shoot. <laughs> so, of course. What we're going to do is take a look at the cross section. Is this a, the cabbage, cabbages can look real good and then not really in the inside be yeah. that good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the bottom first. Yeah, good signs are the, there's just like zero holes in the leaves. Oh wow. They look totally healthy. Two oh. worms. Well, Three that's worms. interesting. There's actually a lot of worms in here. <laughs> that's that's okay. a new one. All right. So here's the moment, right? All right. What do we have? What do you think? How, how, how compact do you think it's gonna it's get? It's gonna be perfectly compact. You think so? Zero significant gaps. Okay. That's my guess. You could tell. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to get. That's wood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Honestly? Come on. Not bad. That is picture perfect. Yeah, there's like the gaps for the There's ruffles. a worm in here. Okay, at least it's on the outer leaf. It's on the outer leaf, it's on the yeah. Outer leaf. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful though. cabbage yeah. though. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm here for it. Guys, we've got a bit of a harvest shock. This is one situation where I think I might send you home with something a little special. Okay. A little Some lettuce. Of this, maybe. A little roughage. Why don't you take a little. Uh, a little bit of that. A little sixpence for your meal here. <laughs> <laughs> a little lettuce soup tonight? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.